Exercise 7. Copy formulas and insert columns. Part of the Excel 2007 Core Preparation Guide. Brought to you by Shift Key Solutions. In this exercise, we'll be looking at entering some more text and using our keyboard shortcut for an auto sum, as well as using our fill handle. So let's begin. Here in cell E4, we're going to type in a column header for our data called total. After typing this in, I'm going to press enter to move down to E5. And I want to use a keyboard shortcut to add auto sum for this row of information. So the keyboard shortcut in this case will be alt equals. When I press alt equals, Excel says, oh, you want to auto sum this row of information. Well, if I look at this, I'm going to say, yep, that's exactly what I'd like to do. So I'm going to come up to my formula bar and click my enter check mark. In doing so, it maintains this cell as my active cell. Now from here, I want to have an auto sum in each of these cells as well. So I can select them all. I can do an auto sum. However, I can use the fill handle. In order to do this, I'm going to use my fill handle in my active cell. I'm going to click my fill handle and drag down. As I do, I can see my shadow showing me where my formula will display. And I'm going to drag down to cell E5 here and let go. And there it is. It fills the formula down. After doing this, I realize I forgot to add a city. So I need to insert a new column in order to enter that city's information. So in order to do that, I need to right click the column to the right of where I want the blank column to appear, which happens to be column E. So I'm going to right click this and choose insert. It moves everything over and gives me this new blank column. So inside cell E4, I'm going to type in Santa Fe and then press enter. And then I'll enter the information that's inside step 10 through 14. Now, after doing this, I'll notice that the formula in the totals column here in column F automatically updated as I entered this information. However, the totals row of information did not. So I need to come over to cell D10 and use my fill handle and drag to the right. It's that simple. From here, I'm going to save my work. And that concludes exercise 7 copy formulas and insert columns. Next will be exercise 8, format, edit, and spell checking.